Hey, y'all. And I'm back with another video, y'all. Today we got us some good old Chinese food. I went to sorry, I went to Hibachi Express, y'all, and I got me a little bit of everything. Cannot wait. Let me tell y'all what I got. I got some um, mushrooms. I got me some shrimp and crab meat. I got. some chicken wings I got a piece of chicken on the stick y'all know I don't like no hell no chicken why y'all be playing I don't beat mo try to clean the chicken I got some rice back here and I got some um I forgot what they call some kind of noodles Crab cake or something, honey. I just dropped some wasabi between my legs. But I don't see it. It ain't far that doing far. Anyway, let's try this piece of crab meat right here. Oh, I'm okay. Cool. It's a piece of crab or something. Crab cake. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. That's good. So how are y'all doing? Mmm. Look at this, y'all. So amazing. I wanted to go to Jim and Nick's. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that place. And I still can't eat, but y'all still too good. I can't pick up small stuff. But Jim and, Nick, Jim and Nick's is like a barbecue place. But honey, they wings was like $21 for something. For like a 12 piece. Oh, why my sushi falling apart? Mm. So good, y'all. Noodles are amazing. Mm-mm-mm. Oh! Girl! That's so good. Just in case I don't like the first thumbnail I did. This is so good, y'all. I think I got California rolls because I know I don't do real sushi. I don't even play like that. Mmm.
and that we saw being Mm. Y'all don't understand how good this is. I tell you what, I know I'm cooking for the rest of the week because I done spent twenty dollars today on food. Did my Burger King video earlier? Look at these mushrooms. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Do y'all remember Chinese place used to have a uh, crab leg? So this, is a, this is a Chinese place where you just go get you a plate, of course, and bring it on out if you want to. I like to sit down in there. So I can go back as much as I want. And eat if I want. Because I sure would have got me some more of these crab cake if I knew they were that good. Mmm. Cup empty. I don't think I got no more waters in here. I'm gonna eat some of these rice back here, but I gotta open up a spoon. How y'all doing today, honey? I ain't asked y'all nothing. I just came in and started eating. What was that? Got me a little scoop of rye back here. I love me some house fried rice. Where they had a chicken, a shrimp, and the beef. Or the pork, whatever it be. It be so good. Y'all, they had so much wasabi in there. Like, it was a big tub full of wasabi. And you just get a spoon and get it out. It was so much. Like, that one literally. Even a spoonful like this of wasabi will kill you. I'm I'm convinced. Like, who even discovered wasabi? Where, where y'all find this stuff at? Mmm. No, you don't. Luckily, I still got my cup from Burger King this morning. With a little warm Sprite still in it. So, yeah, honey. Mm 
I just came to eat today. Sure, just the cold. Put the air blowing on it. Y'all know how you have your mindset on something else. So I had my mindset on this. But when I get to riding up down the road, I saw so many other places that I never tried before. But then I'm like, man, if I go get that Chinese food, it ain't gonna be right. I thought wrong. Be real right. Super de duper right. I've been a nasty girl. I love that song. I love that beat. Mm, mm, mm. I don't have to eat all this food right here. And I ain't done either. Remember, I just called my doctor, right? My doctor's office. And try, cause I just got insurance again, y'all. I'm so sick of insurance, I don't know what to do. You like to somebody, yeah, your doctor be able to see you on August 13th. I said August the 13th. So now I gotta see somebody else. Because I don't know if I'm gonna get back on Ozempic or not. And the only reason I do is because, I don't know. First of all, all the weight that I, I lost, I gained back. I gained like 10 pounds back since the last time I took Ozempic, which was like three months ago. Maybe two and a half, three months ago. I don't know. And I stopped taking it because I thought I had taken all my Ozempic. And then I found a whole nother box. I found the whole box of it. Open my, uh, where well, I put my medicine in. So when I found it, I had been off of it for like, maybe a month and a half at that point. But I was like, do I go back to, like, is it safe? I should have called my doctor then, but I ain't know. <laughs> Goodness. I didn't feel like it was safe to go back to the dosage that I'm on because I'm on. I'm taking the highest dosage. So I didn't think it was safe to go back to the highest dosage when my body ain't had it in like two months. Because that stuff will make you sick. If you just do that like that. And then like no hard sick. It's like nausea. I get real nauseous. And maybe a little bit dizzy every time I take it. Like when I take my first dose, if I, you know, how you gonna take it? So I didn't want to do me like that. 
since my body ain't used to it right now. I don't even know what time the lady just doing. To oh, three o'clock. So anyway, when I go see this man, honey, I'm gonna decide if I wanna get back on it. Child, my uh, phone had an overheated, honey. My glass is so dirty. It, uh, anyway, but what I was saying is, I want to get back on the Ozempic because I feel like my diabetes have been like out of control because I be craving stuff that I don't usually I'm not really big on I guess like a whole lot of chocolate and sodas I've been drinking those heavy for like a, a good little minute maybe like a month and I know I, well, I was told that that could be an indication of your diabetes acting up when you crave stuff that you're not supposed to have. So, and I know I could just as easily not eat it. Because I ain't like I'm addicted to chocolate and soda, but... I don't know. And I don't want to be dependent on the Ozempic either. Because before, I wasn't paying nothing when I was on Medicaid. And Medicaid plays so much, and I hope I... I don't plan on ever going back to Medicaid, but now this new insurance I got, I think, from what I think, the medication is classified as the tier. Um, I think I'll be paying like fifty dollars per Ozempic prescription, and I don't know if I want to do that. But I mean, it ain't nothing for my doctor to put me back on it whenever because she was she's she's. She was taking something. I forgot the wasabi books between my legs. I'm just seeing here. I don't know where that though. But she was taking something similar to me. And she was like, we're going to be holding each other accountable and all this kind of stuff. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to decide if I want to get back on. I'm definitely not getting back on metformin. I got so much metformin at high. And I ain't taking because she had put me on such a high dosage. In addition to the Ozempic, and I was just telling her like I don't think I need all that. Like, if if my sugars are at the normal or like at that limit for diabetes, then that means my stuff ain't that out of control to where I need to be taking all this medication for some for some diabetes. No, I don't need it. And I was like, if the Ozempic already getting my sugar low enough, then I don't. I definitely don't need... Look at that little boy, honey. I can't turn my camera. It's a little boy. He look like he about nine years old. <sighs> oh, he might be. But he out here with... Um, it's a company called Landscaping and Nursery. And he out here with his little boots on, honey. They some Mexicans. And y'all know that. Them Mexicans be working. I ain't even gonna lie to you. They, they be working. They chillin' be working. So he probably about nine years old. He's so cute with his little boots on. I just thought they were funny because the other men are obviously working in the truck and he walking right with him with his little shirt. Anyway, yeah, so I gotta decide if I wanna get back on Ozempic or not, basically. And the reason I need to talk to the doctor first is because, yeah, I got some medicine, but do I start back on this high dosage when I ain't had it in the, in the meeting? That's what I need to talk to them about. So, anyway, y'all, my phone had went hot. Uh, my phone had overheated because I had it up there in the top. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to like, share, and give me a leave me a comment. Graduation on the way. Period. 25 more days. Till the next time. Bye, y'all.